hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Bessie Munyori. if you're new here maze subscribe share comment like and if you're not new here thanks for the loyalty thanks for the love if you like this content like 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 share 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 it really helps with the algorithm and this is the kind of channel where you come if you need some life advice some self-development advice some entrepreneurial advice guys so just tune in and comment and tell me what more you would like to hear and today i'm just going to talk about the two mindsets that exist in people there are so many mindsets in the world but today i'm just going to touch on the two main ones and i've realized that mindset is quite a big deal in people's lives um if you fix your mindset you will literally fix anything else mindset is as important as your physical health as your spiritual health so the same way you work out you should work on your mindset and this is the kind of video that will start you on that and guys don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss another episode so <laughs> disclaimer for this video is that uh, don't be worried. We all have a pessimistic side existing alongside our optimistic side So that's why most of us when we are met with change, we really don't want to We really don't want to change our pessimistic side tells us no that is not cool. That is danger That is not okay. So <laughs> guys don't worry the good thing about that is that what you feed grows so if you feed your pessimistic side it will grow if you feed your optimistic side it will grow if you believe that when faced with adversity you you you, you handle it you will handle it if you believe that you are doomed trust me you are doomed kenya una do in a manifest guys so uh, the two types of mindset that exist, don't mind my eye movement, of course I have my notes here so that I don't blabber and get out of context. Uh, the two types of mindset that exist is the lottery mindset, most people call it the fixed mindset and others call it the lottery mindset and then there is the growth mindset. So uh, I'm going to just get right into it. Uh, a lottery mindset believes in luck they believe in uh, shortcuts to instant wealth awa ni wale watu unasikianga wakisema huyo mzee aliyomboka lakini sijui ni nini hiyo alifanya kuna kitu tu alifanya once na yenyewe ikafanya aomboke they the people with this kind of mindset they debunk the whole idea of uh, hard work they debunk the idea of working smart they debunk the idea of just working they believe like me nikishinda tu hii pesa nitakuwa tu sawa those are the kind of people who are always betting and always always expecting some big deal to come for them to be okay uh, they believe that the only way to a life they love is to get lucky and to have fortune fall into their laps on one bright sunday morning guys <laughs> Trust me, there is no such thing. You have to work. These are the kind of people who believe that I will only get rich if I get a better salary or a better job. Trust me, if you don't manage that salary that you're given of 20,000, you will not manage a salary even when you're given 100,000, guys. It all boils down to mindset, guys. So, uh, these are the kind of people who have just a hope wanna hope to like wanna hope like one day everything's just gonna fall into place but they don't work they don't work their ass off it's not like the other kind of mindset that believes in working and gradual gradual success these uh these are the kind of people who let temporary setbacks act as permanent excuses i will give an example on that to say me, leo at Bui, I woke up and there were no lights, so I can't have a hot shower. And if I don't have a hot shower, honestly, I can see easy and a job. So these are the kind of people who kuspokuwa na stima, nisipoga na majimoto, iyo de mimi siendi kazi, iyo de mimi nakakwa nyumba. 
but the other kind of mindset is like what do i do they all they are always looking for a solution like ndafanya nini see of course nda hit maji tuseme hata na na gas cuz sasa stima hazi work sa ihaimanishi ati ni waste the whole day this is the kind of mindset that they treat uh, mistakes like they are harmful and pro- problematic this if there's any parent listening to this please don't be so mad at your kid when they make a mistake mistakes are part of life and mistakes is how you learn so don't treat mistakes like like it's a whole problematic thing like your your failure just because you made one mistake now and hevo you're doomed for life guys <laughs> that's not how it works and then the other type of mindset which i advocate for is the growth mindset kuna kuna difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset another example is kuna mtu kwa ocha yenu ame amekuwa na shop tangu 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 kwe mdogo huyu mtu hafikiri yangi venye anaweza expand shop na si ati aingizi pesa ni ati tu yeye alishafika like me i'm good like with this cash shop i am fine <laughs> they don't even think maybe of expanding it into a grocery shop or just something or kuna watu huanza na kupika mandazi then they eventually graduate into a whole thing but kuna watu honestly mahali uliwaacha 10 years ago hapo ndo utawapata ukienda hata 5 years after that they really don't have any aspirations they don't have any growth mindset and this leads me to the other mindset which is a growth mindset it does not believe in luck it creates lucky this is the kind of people who believe that success prosperity health and all the other things are not by coincidence you have to construct them by rituals that you perform every day so when you keep searching for ways to change your situation for the better you stand a chance of finding them this just like the saying like uh, aim for the moon even though you don't land on the moon you will land among the stars these are the kind of people who believe like Kenya wanafanya in our progress towards the life they want these are the kind of people who they don't they don't hold on to their past achievements kuna watu wana wana furahia their trophies that they won 10 years ago a trophy that you win today should be a beginning of something else like to say me umefungua shop leo work on it next year you can work on like maybe opening another branch don't be like those people who stay in one place like forever and they're like happy and they're like comfortable comfort zone guys no 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 these are the kind of people who uh once they're done with campus you will never see them touch a book you will never see them listening to a podcast you will never see them listening to any inspirational youtube video like this one guys don't don't forget to subscribe and comment and share yeah you will never just see them developing trying to develop themselves guys uh one thing that i always say is akili yako is very adaptive whatever you want to learn you will learn so if you believe that um ukimaliza shule ni hivyo na ni hivyo honestly you will never learn anything more but let's say i am a nail technician and i make nails and maybe today is my first day and i really didn't hack it so there's some people who if they try today and they fail they'll be like ah me me honestly that's not meant for me i will not do it anymore but there's some people who will every day they make a progress kama ni ku shape ana shape better kama ni ku paka ana paka better kama ni anything they just do it better they are not they don't use a a, a temporary setback as a permanent excuse guys they work towards success that's why you always hear most successful people say uh hard work beats talent any day of the week any time of the week eh ni the same way kama kama nimezoea kusuka nywele na okay mimi nakuwa nimeiva tu kusuka nywele but mimi nakaanga tu home and then you find someone else ajaiva but 
and I commit every day to learn something new. That person will be so different from the other person who just believes that they have talent. So guys, you can get smarter, you can get to learn anything that you want. And when you train your talent, you keep you keep you keep you keep improving it. You keep you keep beating those people with 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 talent even though you're not as talented as them. So guys, uh, a growth mindset depends on hope. Both mindsets depend on hope. Um, a lottery mindset believes in hope. A uh, growth mindset believes in hope. But the hope for the growth mindset is the kind of hope where it rests on the expectations that our own efforts can improve your future. But the other kind of hope is like, Mina hope too, but naka. Okay, I'm waiting for mana from heaven. <laughs> that don't work guys you have to to work for the growth mindset it's the kind of hope where you have a feeling that tomorrow will be better and different and you will make tomorrow better by whatever you do not just sitting back and expecting that tomorrow will be better guys so guys i hope you have learned something from this video Maze mindset is very very important and hey you have to work on it it's just a step at a time because peer mindset depends on how you were raised and all that so many factors how life has affected you but you can always change anything your brain is very adaptive guys keep that in mind and i hope you like this content i hope you've learned something and so don't forget to share subscribe comment like and tell me what more you would like to hear and don't forget to hit the notification button and i will see you next time guys bye <laughs>